from Hollywood. Tell me you're a madman. It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm going to take you into a conference room. Seems more seemly a setting than what I have to say to you. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. You know, I'm fixated about the economy. I'm fixated about how people are panicked about it. I'm fixated about the economy in the holiday season and how it's going to affect all of us. And I know many of you are fixated on this as well, freaked out by it, wishing things would get better, waiting for us to get through this period. But um, I thought in this segment of our program, we would talk to, uh, well, those who may be affected by the recession. By the way, it's officially now a recession. Previously, they said it was not a recession. Now they finally have admitted it's a recession. We've known it's been a recession for a long time, but the government finally got around to officially certifying this a recession. Okay. Now, in our midst, there are people who are affected by this, but maybe they don't know how they're affected by this, or I think they're smarter than we give them credit for. Maybe they do. And that's children. Um, I know myself as a kid, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew what time it was, believe me. I remember when I was a kid, and we lived uh, through a, a period of horrible inflation and job cutbacks and what have you, I took a look at my uh, dad's credit card bills and I said, if you keep spending like this, you're going to go broke. I was 12. I think kids know more about this than we give them credit for. I do. You know, I, many people misjudge me. Just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I don't respect kids and like kids. I do. But I must tell you that um, I think that uh, we are uh, selling kids short if you think kids don't understand what's happening with the economy. In fact, I'll bet kids uh, know more about the economy than we think. I'll bet uh, you think you're protecting your kids from this stuff. But in reality, they are acutely aware of it. So I thought I'd prove it to you. Thought I'd prove it to you with this hour where I'm going to talk to kids. Now, I know we have a lot of children who listen to this show. Uh, of course, it's not for children. It's not done for children. But there are many adults who listen. Many people who listen have kids. And their children tune in. So, kids, this is for you. And my question for you is this. Okay? Are times getting tough for your family? Do you know what it means to have a bad economy? Are your parents suffering? Do they lose their jobs? Maybe they're not healthy and they don't have health insurance. Maybe uh, Christmas isn't going to be what you thought it was this year. I want to find out from kids what they think about the economy and what's happening in their homes. I want to find out what's happening with your parents. I want to know what's happening with your siblings. I want to know how the economy is affecting your house. And I know there are children out there who know exactly what time it is. They know exactly what's going on. So all I need is the kids to call me here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. When I was a kid and the economy was bad, it was scary to me because I understood what was going on. My parents did not think I understood what was going on, but I did. And when my parents had to cut the budget, my parents had to stop buying things or buy less things. When my parents, I remember when my mom tried to uh, make a straight non-fat dry milk. She would make powdered milk. And she would make it, uh, you know, into a container of milk, or like a bottle of milk. And I remember the taste of that. It was nasty. <laughs> but it was one of the ways my mom was trying to cut back. So this hour I'm going to talk only to children. When I say only to children, I'm saying under age 13. 
So if you are under 13 years old and you know how to dial a telephone, you can call us. And here is our telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to know how the economy is affecting your family. I want to know if your parents have lost their jobs. I want to know if your parents have had to cut back and spend less money on you. I want to know what they're telling you. I want to know if they're trying to hide it from you, that uh, things are bad, and, and you know it anyway. Oh, my God. Down the hallway of our apartment building, uh, I could hear my parents fighting at night, late. They would try to uh, move down the hall so they could have an argument. I remember that. And many times it was about the lack of money, financial issues. When we come back, I'm going to talk to kids. I'm going to find out what's going on at your house. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show. With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. Now, six days a week here in Los Angeles with a Saturday show from 2 until 6 p.m. It's the Tom Like His Show. Ask for it by name. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I'm asking kids to call in and tell me about the impact that the economy's having on their family. Alexis on the Tom Like His Show. Helen. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um it says here you're 12 years old. Yeah, I'm 12 years old, Tom. Okay. What's the deal? You know, my dad doesn't help out with me at all, and it's really hard for me because I'm young, and my mom is sick. She's been sick ever since she was young, and um, I wasn't really supposed to be healthy, and I just wanted my dad to help out but he never he's never helped out in my life he hasn't been with my mom and i since i was probably about five years old and my mom does real estate so she's right now she does real estate but right now she's like screwed there's no money and what is no your house. what is your mom's illness she has lupus it's a, it's a kidney disease uh -huh. her kidney failure and um it's just, like, really hard on me because my mom's sick a lot, and I I used to go to a Catholic school, and my dad used to help out with that. But then now he doesn't anymore because he doesn't live with us. He has, like, six, seven more kids that I don't know about. <laughs> six or seven more? Yeah, about six or seven more kids. So, how does he uh, pay child support for all those kids? He doesn't, Tom. And uh, how many kids did he have when he married your mom? He had two older ones. And then he had four more? Yep. And was your mom aware of that? Yes, she was. Were they married? They're still married Tom they are married yep wow and uh, why does your mom put up with that she doesn't it's my dad he doesn't want to get divorced he's too scared to marry his girlfriend you do understand that your mom doesn't need his permission to get divorced yes but as long as he declines it they have to wait how long I'm not sure about that, Tom. Wow. So your mom is sick, and she's uh, in the real estate business, which has gotten walloped. Yep. And she's got no child support coming in. And how many kids does she have with him? Excuse me, Tom? How many kids does your mom have? She only has me. Yeah. And so I imagine you've had to grow up a lot. Yep. And do you know anything about your mom's finances? Excuse me? Do you know anything about your mom's finances? No, I do not. 
but you know she's having a hard time with work and a hard time bringing home money? Yes. So what has she told you about the holidays this year? She's told me to just, she'll get me what she can and that she's sorry that she can't get me what I really want. What is that? And she's, right now, I want a lot of, I mean, just three basic things. And one of them I really want bad because um, something happened to me recently and... My dog died actually recently, and I just want another dog so I can try to forget because it was really sad for me because that dog was almost my life. He was my life, and I just forgot about my dad with that dog, so I basically want that and a laptop. Oh, and a laptop, and which one is your mom going to get you? I know she'll, I know she'll get me the puppy. <laughs> Yeah. But the laptop's another story. Yeah. I understand. And do you worry about this stuff, Alexis? Yeah. Do you ever wonder if there's anything you can do? Have you ever tried doing anything to help out? I have, but I'm 12. There's not much I think of doing. I understand. I, I have a job right now, though. You have a job? What is your job? Uh, I work for Snap-on Tools. It's my neighbor. He owns, uh, no, he's like a boss. And he has the, he has a truck and he has like a bunch of stuff to make, to sell. And I make the tools, the toolboxes. Isn't there a child labor law? How can that even be legal? He, uh, he I'm not sure. He doesn't I mean, tell anybody. Oh, my. Uh, Alexis, uh, I hope you have a happy holiday. I'm sorry to hear all that. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I'm talking to kids about the impact of the lousy economy on their families. Now, Kevin is 11 years old. Kevin, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, hi, Tom. My mom listens to you all the time. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was talking about the conflict. Let's talk about the economy. Yeah, the economy, that one, that is affecting me this year because, like, like I'm suffering because I'm getting less, like, Christmas, Christmas pre presents. You're getting less Christmas presents. So everyone's telling you you're not going to be getting Christmas presents? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what does your dad do for a living? Uh, my dad does for a living? Yeah, what does he do? He he just lost his business right now. What kind of business was he in? A trucking business. And he lost it because of the economy? Yeah, that. Wow. And he came home and told you about that? Yeah, I... I was sad. Was he upset? Yeah, because, like, all that money goes to the rent and the bills and all that. So when he lost his business, uh, did he get a job? What happened? No. Yeah, right now he has a job. What is he doing? Cable. Cable company. He's installing cable. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But that uh, probably doesn't do as much for him as owning a trucking business. No. Do you worry about this? Yes. Tell me about that. But what do you think? Like, when I go to sleep, like, I think about, like, like how the money, like, how much he lost and all that. Do you know how much he lost? No. But I know he made more than the cable company right now. I'll bet he did. Mm -hmm. And does that cause other problems at home? Does he fight with people or does he get angry or sad? What happens? Yeah, because, like, he thinks about, like, the job and stuff. Wow. Hi, Kevin. I'm, I'm sorry to hear all that, but I thank you for calling in. Okay. All right. Wow. You notice that in the first couple of cases here, these kids are relatively mature for their age. That 12-year-old Alexis sounded like she was 20 years old. And I think you have to grow up real fast when you get into these situations.
one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Julio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, it says here you're 12? Yeah. All right, tell me about how the economy is affecting your family. It's cheating us hard, man. Well, pretty much Christmas is one thing. We weren't able to afford a vacation. No, nothing like that. We were, you know, it's kind of tough, tough times right now. What do your parents do for a living? My dad, my, well, my mom right now, she's not here. She's in Hawaii. Why is she in Hawaii? She's getting paid really good. What does my she, dad, what, wait, wait, what does she do? She does, um, she's a nurse. She just graduated from her college. Yeah. So she, she got a job as a nurse in Hawaii, and so she moved and left you here? No, she she's just going over there because one of one of her friends are really sick. She's got um a disease with the skin skin disease. Okay. So my dad, it, my dad, he's he's kind of getting hit hard by the economy. I know he's got he's in architecture and engineering, and well, it's just like tough times, you know. We bought a new house in Corona. We. Trying to afford money for furniture, not able to. Really? So is the house empty? Yep. Really? What do you What do you sleep on? Sleep on the floor. <laughs> you really sleep on the floor? Yeah. Just make your bed on the floor. You know, have a good night's sleep. So your dad bought. Let me understand this. Your dad bought a house in Corona, but he couldn't afford to furnish it, and so now you sleep on the floor. Yeah. Wow, was he one of those people who bought uh, the house when uh, everybody was paying ridiculous prices for houses? Um, I'm not sure. I think. How long ago was it? Huh? Was it about six months ago, a year ago? How long was it? Mm, maybe like three months ago. Well, three months ago. Yeah. Oh. And what has he told you about the holidays, your dad? Mm, not much. Just like. I'm not gonna be able to get that much stuff that back then I used to get. Maybe maybe back then I used to get like maybe like five or four things or something. He told this you time, that. This time I only want one thing, so I I know I know how like it's tough for him to afford so many things that we can't buy. So so uh, what uh, what is it that the one thing that you want? What are you gonna try to get? Um, he said he said he's gonna try. Um um, it's it's okay if you can't. So just enjoy the holiday. It's just um. Um, so um, for it's a finger a fingerboard skateboard. It's mm -hmm. a for, but it's a skate park. And he's gonna try to get that for you, but maybe he can't. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Julio. It's great talking uh, to you. I hope you have a good holiday. All uh, right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. It's amazing. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Blake is twelve years old. We're talking only to children here about the economy and how it's affecting your family. Blake, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. Tell me. Um, I don't like the economy. Well, we, most of us don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But how's it affecting your family? Um, it affects my family because my mom, it's hard for her to pay the bills, and especially for the fact that she's on Social Security and we don't have a dad, so... You don't have a dad? What happened to him? Um, he left when um, I was, like, three, and he doesn't pay child support, so... I don't know. <laughs> All right. So he's never play, paid any child support? Um, he has paid a little, but not to do... He's going to owe her a lot of money even when I turn 18. And why is that? Is he out of work or drug um, addict or what's he, to do? He quits his jobs a lot or he gets paid under the table, so we don't really know where he's at. And they've taken away his license and they've done a lot, but he still won't pay. And it's really hard for my mom because she's on Social Security and because she's disabled, so she has a really hard time. Wow. How many kids in your family? Um, I'm the only kid. Right. And so what does your mom tell you when it comes to the holidays? Um, that she can't get me as much as she wants to. Like, I, I don't get as many presents as I want. I mean, I may get some presents that I want, but I don't get major presents like some kids. Like, mm. some kids will be like, I'm getting a laptop. I'll be like, really? I'm getting nothing. 
Wow. All right, Blake, uh, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking to children. I mean, we are talking literally to uh, anyone under 12 years old, 12 and under. And we're finding out how the economy is affecting your family. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. It's the Tom Likas show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right, how is the economy affecting your family, kids? I'm talking to children here at 1-800-5800-TOM. You must be under the age of 13 to get on the air. That's the deal. 1-800-5800-866. You can have your parents dial the phone if you need to. I don't care how young you are. I want to hear the story. Isaac is eight years old. Isaac, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, the, the economy doesn't affect my family at all. We have a really good life, and um, we we have a really good life, and we have a really nice house. What do your parents do for a living? Um, my dad is an exterminator, and my mom works retail. My mom works retail. I see. And uh, so you're not worried about. Your dad loses his job. Your mom works retail. You know, they're closing hundreds and hundreds of retail stores. Uh, linens and things, uh, shoe pavilion, Mervyn's. You're not worried that your mom will lose her job? Um, I'm not worried that my dad or my mom will lose their job. Why? But, yeah, so you, you heard what's happening in the news. And why would you think your mom would be less likely to lose her job than everybody else? Because she works grocery. She works for free? Grocery. Well, she works in grocery business? Yes. And you don't think they're going to be cutting anybody back? No. So you're not the least bit concerned? No. I, yes. I've been there 12 years. I've been, my mom has been there 12 years. She could have made the call herself. <laughs> Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred job. Be in there twelve years. There's a lot of people out there who had a job twelve years who are out of work. A lot of them. Tell you what. Let's say hi here to uh, Steve. Steve is twelve years old. Steve, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um. Yeah. Ever since we came to America, it's been like really bad for us. Where are you from, Steve? Uh, I'm from China. Okay, and what has happened? Well, ever since we came here, we haven't really gotten a lot of money. Like, like when we first came here, we like my dad only made like ten dollars an hour, and my mom didn't make anything. What did your dad do for a living? Uh, he was a scientist. Really? Like biologist. They're paying biologists ten bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah. Can I hire a biologist for ten bucks an hour? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. I'll tell you what. I'll give your dad eleven bucks an hour. <laughs> we could use his kind down here. Now I think he's making like 15. Not a big bonus, though. 15? <laughs> He'd make more working at Ralph's. Yeah. That's unbelievable. And I'll bet your dad had to study for years, and then I'll bet when he came to this country, he probably had to get more education because they probably told him, well, your credentials don't mean anything in the United States, right? Yeah, he actually took like, well, he said like he took like an extremely good like university in like China, but like he still can't get anything in America. Oh, my God. Now, did your mom ever get a job? Well, yeah. She's like an accountant right now, but she makes like $5 an hour. No, she doesn't make $5 an hour. Yeah, she does. She makes like $5 an hour. That that would be illegal. The minimum wage is $8 an hour. Well, she says like she makes like 5 or something. After taxes, maybe. But that's it's just, there's no way she makes $5 okay. an hour. Well, I'll tell you what. If she makes $5 an hour, call the police. Uh. Call the authorities immediately. So, um, what, what do you guys live on? I mean, how, uh, I don't think you have to cut back. You've never had any money to begin with. Well, yeah, we like, yeah, um, well, we always like, uh, always had like really cheap stuff. And, um, yeah, like, uh, whenever I go to the grocery store, like, I only buy like maybe five dollars worth of stuff that I want. Uh huh. Like, uh, when I go for, like, something like maybe a small pack of beef jerky, $1, like, my dad's like, no, that's too expensive. 
Really? Yeah. So uh, what do you uh, get instead? What? So if you can't get the beef jerky, what do you get? Usually, just don't bother going. So uh, what is dinner like? A typical dinner at your house? Mm, I don't know. We eat, like uh, I don't know, eat out. Uh, sometimes we cook. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually uh, potatoes or something or like something like that. Potatoes. <laughs> wow. So are your parents expecting you to do well in school and rescue them? Finally, is that the plan here? <laughs> Pretty much. Really? So what are you going to be when you grow up, Steve? Uh, I'm actually not sure yet. All right, but uh, you're going to go to university, I take it. Yeah. Because you sound pretty bright. <laughs> and I think they know that. Uh-huh. And they just have to hang in there another 10 years and you'll have a college degree. Let's hope I live that long. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, Steve. It's not that bad. <laughs> And uh, Christmas, now you're from China. Do your parents celebrate Christmas? Uh, not really. And do you? Oh, mm, sometimes. I mean, the I mean the gift-getting part. I don't mean oh, this. Oh, no, like, like never. Really? Yeah, never. So December 25th is just another day? Yeah, usually. Wow. So your dad goes in and makes 120 bucks as a, as a biologist? Uh, well... I think he moved jobs once, but yeah, pretty much. Unbelievable. And your mom makes her $5 an hour. Uh, what does she do again? Uh, she's an accountant. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's doing... By the way, money, if, if your mom will do my taxes for $5 an hour, please have her contact me. <laughs> and have her send some business cards. Uh, my accountant charges more than that. The five dollar an hour accountant. Do they have accounting sweatshops? I'm curious. Will they just have all these five dollar an hour accountants slaving away over there? Uh, I'm not sure. All right. Well, Steve, uh, thank you for that. Uh, I appreciate the call. Okay. Thanks. Okay. There goes Steve. Very bright kid. Well, his mom will get five dollars an hour to be an accountant. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to haul my tax return over there next year. Five dollars an hour. I mean, my accountant does a great job, but he charges more than five dollars an hour. That's less than each of our block charges. They got people. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. I right, uh, I'm talking to kids about the economy. How is it affecting your family? How's it affecting you, Millie? On the Tom like his show. Hello. Uh, am I on? That's what I just said. I said, Millie, okay. you're on the Tom Lager Show. You're, um, you're 11 years old, right? Yeah. And you've never called a radio station before. Mm, uh, uh, e Am I supposed to answer yes? Well, you can tell me the truth. If you call, Did you call another station, too? No. Oh, then you can tell me the truth. Okay. You know, you've never called a radio station before. Yeah. I'm so, just very confused by questions oh, sometimes. Oh, well, I try to make it simple for you. Uh... Yeah, anyway, the story is, um, my family owes a lot of debt. They have a lot and of debt, really? A lot. How much? I have no idea, and I really do not want to know. Is that so? Now, how did you find out about that? Um, let's see. Well... I'm sorry. My dad makes me have to I have to move. He doesn't want anyone else to hear this. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, the story is that well, my dad's not really a good on the job thing, my jig. So he kind of we own an old people center at our house, and well, he ran all the old people away. They did not like him. He yelled them. He scared them off. He yelled at them. So, yeah, now we only have two, and there's one that really yells back. So, yeah. So these are old, old people you're saying? Who? Are, what are these? Old people center. Seniors who are disabled. Seniors who so are disabled. So, he didn't get along with the seniors. He was yelling at them. And so they all left. Well, he's not really yelling at them. He just, sometimes he gets tired, so yeah. Gets a little cranky. Starts yelling at yeah. the old ladies. Yeah, it's not really 
really yeah, much yelling. It's just a little bit. He kind of gets cranky, and then the old people really get. They don't like yelling. They don't like loud talking. So they've been leaving, going somewhere else. Well, not really going somewhere else. They just get really tired. So yeah. All right. Yeah. So so he's making less money now uh, dealing with the old people. Mm, kind of. And so, how did he get into all this debt? Uh, kind of. Well, it's going good. He's fine. As do you? Is he listening in on your conversation? Yes. So now you're changing the story. Yes. I see, because you don't want to get in trouble. Yes. I understand, darling. You, know, you call us another time when he's not there, okay? Uh, that will be never. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Thomas that telephone number. <laughs> wow. Uh let's say hello here to Skyler on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Skyler. Hi, Tom. Says here you're eight years old. Yeah. All right, Skyler. Uh, How is the economy affecting your family? Tell us. I'm a long time listener and first time caller. Whoa. Long time listener, first time caller. Hello? Okay. Yes, Skylar. What can I do for you? Skylar. I'm getting one present. What? You're getting what? I'm getting one present. You're getting one present for Christmas? Yes. What is it? A Star Wars toy. Were you hoping to get more? No. Because my parents don't have a lot of money, so I can only get one person. All right. Now, did Santa Claus ever come to your house? Did that ever happen? Yeah. And then what happened? I get a lot. <laughs> oh, Santa Claus gets you a lot of stuff. Yeah. So what is he bringing to you? I don't know, like, the stuff I, could, I like pick out, I write on, like, a Christmas list. Then he looks at it, then he gives it to me. Wow. So uh, your parents are going to give you less, but Santa Claus, you're expecting, he's going to be giving you a lot. Yes. I see. And uh, has the economy affected your family in other ways? Yes. How? No vacation. Your parents don't have vacation, or you can't, you can't go anywhere on vacation. Yes. What kinds of places have you gone on vacation, Skyler? Hawaii. No, oh, no more Hawaii now, huh? Yeah, no more Hawaii. So now you have to stay in L.A. on vacation? Irvine. Irvine. Now, Irvine's a good place to, uh, you know, go to work and, uh, and, you know, go into the insurance company corporate headquarters, but I don't know if it's a place I want to go on vacation. FM Talk, six days a week, six days a week. Huh? I said six days a week. Huh? Six days a week. Huh? I said six days a week. Tom Likas Show now, Saturdays 2 to 6, in addition to Monday through Friday on 97.1. FM Talk. And by the way, if you don't live in L.A. and you'd like to hear the Saturday show, just log on to blowmeuptom.com.
between 2 and 6 p.m. on Saturday and hear it. You can hear it. Even on, if you don't live in L.A., you can pick it up on the Internet. That's it. Bottom line. Six days a week now, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We are talking to uh, children about the impact of the economy. Joshua is 11 years old on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Joshua. Hi. Um, I'm here to talk about the economy. I'm sure you already know that. I'm acting like a dork. But um, my life with the economy going on right now pretty sucks because my dad's, my mom's pregnant and we had to move back with her mom, my grandma. Wait, what did you say about your dad? Wait. What did you say about your dad? You said something about your dad and the phone cut out. Oh, yeah. Um. He's not here with me right now. He's not with us. Uh, why not? Because um, he's kind of in jail right now. He's kind of in jail? Yeah. What What was he charged with? I'm not pretty sure what he was charged with. You don't know why your own dad is in jail? No. Ask your mom. Since she's, she's coaching right you. Now. She just left. Oh, I heard to her go, coaching um, you. Shop. So your dad is in jail. Mm-hmm. And your mom is having a baby. How many months pregnant is she? Five. Five months pregnant. So your dad has not been in jail very long. No. Wow. That's going to put a crimp in the Christmas budget this year, huh? Yeah. I know, because, well, I have... We used to have our own house. And um, we had to move back with my grandma. Meaning your mom's mom. Yeah. What's that like? It's all right. I mean, I don't get my own room. Who are you sleep? Oh, Whose room are you sleeping in? Bummer. It's a bummer. Yeah, whose room are you sleeping in? My mom's. We have two separate beds. I see. Is that your mom's old room from when she was little? No, we're, we're pretty, like, um, we're in a house that only has three mo rooms total, but there's a den in the back. And a long time ago, my mom and my dad used to own this house, but then her, her mom and her, her mom and her dad took over the house. And then so we had a den where we had pool, but now it's our, our room. All right. Let me ask you this. Uh, what's your mom do for a living? She does hangers, like the office. Hangers? No, she works in an office. Oh, she works in an office. Yeah. I see. And what happens uh, when your mom is uh, too pregnant to go to work? I, how are you going to pay the bills? Mm, I, that's a question that I yet to answer. Oh, mm, boy. Do you worry about this stuff, Joshua? Yeah, pretty much because birthdays on the and Christmas. I think we're getting every other syllable now. All right, well, uh, Joshua, I hope you have a good holiday. Thank you for calling in and reporting to us about that. Let's go to Kimberly on the Tom Likas show. Kimberly's 15. Hello, Kimberly. Hey. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. Well, I'm not currently, I guess. But, um, yeah, the economy has taken its toll on me and my family a lot. Um, this past summer, we were in a house, and we had to downgrade to an apartment doing, like, because it was just hard on our on our uh, income, so we had to downgrade to an apartment. And my mother, she's trying to work hard to provide for me and my sister, and she's disabled but she still tries to work to help us out and my father is in construction and that job's not really you know guaranteed so we're just living day by day just don't know what's going to happen and you know it's really sad but i guess that's how life is wow yeah. and so what's that going to do to your holiday i don't know 
I really don't know right now. I'm not really asking for too much, but food, shelter, and clothing, really. That's all I really need, but, yeah. You're hoping you're going to have that. Yeah. Wow. Do you worry about it? Not too much. I try not to worry about it. But um, hopefully with a good education and college scholarship, then I can just pull myself out of this situation on my own. Right. I understand. Yeah. Are you planning on going to college? Of course. <laughs> what What will you study? I want to study um, marketing, entertainment marketing or real estate. Real estate. Hopefully the market will come back by the time you get to college. I know. <laughs> Hopefully. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, Kimberly, thank you for that call. Good luck. Have a good holiday. Let's go to nine-year-old Kenneth on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Um, Kenneth, it's me, Tom. Okay. Tell me about the economy. Is it affecting your house? No, it's affecting us because we can't we can't buy a lot of clothes or a lot of food because we had to spend some of the money on my little brother. What what's the problem with your little brother? Because we had to spend a lot of money and like on diapers and then food for him. Well, see, so your mom had a baby in the last year or so. <clears throat> And uh, that's making things difficult. What does your dad do for a living? He takes care, you know, he works at um, AAA. Mm, I see. Wow. And your mom, does she have a job? Yeah. What does she do? She works at a, a retirement system. Wow. You worry about this, don't you? Yeah. Mm, boy. Kenneth. Good luck. I hope you have a good holiday. Thanks for calling in. It's the Tom Likas Show.